That's going to be a little bit trickier because we have a change in acceleration. Let's do this for laminar flow, in which case we have um, a falling object. So our free body diagram looks like this. We have the force of gravity, and we have a drag force. Because it's laminar, not turbulent, we're going to use kV, because that's the amount of drag. If we want to write uh, a solve, our, solve an equation for velocity, we start with our F net equation. F net equals ma. I call down to be positive. So we have Fg minus F drag. And that's just simply going to become mg minus kV. And my acceleration is changing with time. So I can't just leave that as A. I need instantaneous acceleration. And what is instantaneous acceleration? It's the derivative of velocity with respect to time. So that's dV over dt, ma. So if I want to solve for any velocity, I need to integrate. But to be able to take the integral of this, I've got to get the velocity quantities, v and dv, on the same side of the equation. And I need to have dt by itself with time. There is no other time in the equation, but I have to have it on the other side of the equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to bring this down here. And I'm simultaneously going to bring the dt over to this side and the m over there as well. So that's going to look like this. 1 over mg minus kV is equal to 1 over m dt. Oh, whoa. I can't leave out my dv. There's my dv. Now remember, dv is just telling me what I need to do my integral on. So now I'm ready uh, to throw the integral sign in there. So I have um, the integral of 1 over mg minus kv is equal to the integral of 1 over m dt. And then uh, I did the same mistake again. I'm doing this from an initial velocity to a final velocity, any velocity I want, uh, an initial time to a final time. And then I can see I've got a problem. I know that the uh, integral of 1 over u du is the natural log of u. That's an integral that you can look up, or maybe you just want to memorize it. And I don't have this in that form. This is 1 over mg minus kv dv. If that was a v, then I'd be all set, but it's not. It's an mg minus kv. So what I'm going to do is a little trick. I'm going to pull this thing out, and I'm going to say, let u equal mg minus kv. So I've sort of partially solved my problem. I'm going to make that u. The problem is that now I have 1 over u dv, and I want 1 over u du. So let's see if we can get a du in there. So to do that, let's take the derivative of u to find out what it's going to be. Now, that's a constant, that's a constant. So what's the derivative of it? First derivative, it's zero. And what's the first derivative of minus kv with respect to velocity? That's just going to be minus k dv. If you're having trouble with these steps, you need to see your calculus teacher. Okay, and then I'm just going to sub in for dv. Whoa. And I'm going to bring that minus k over, so that becomes minus k. Um, no, it's not. That's going to be dv. That's going to be uh, minus 1 over k du. And this whole step, I've just sort of written off to the side. So this is great, because now I can sub that in for, d, uh, for dv, and then that's my u, and there's my du. So let's do that. So that becomes a uh, 1 over mg minus kv. Um, then I'm subbing in. So that becomes minus 1 over k. 
and that uh, du is equal to what's the integral of 1 over m dt? m is a constant that can be pulled out, and so it just becomes the integral of dt, and that's t. Again, see your calculus teacher if you have trouble with knowing how to do an integral like that. So that um, simply becomes uh, t over m, and that's from initial time to final time. We'll evaluate that in a second. I, this is a constant. I'm going to do this in two steps. I can pull this out of the integral because it's a constant, and I can then bring it to the other side. So I'm actually going to take this out here and then bring it to the other side in one step. So let's see, that is going on this side, that's going to become negative kt over m from initial time to final time. Now, look at my, uh, my integral over on this side. I have 1 minus mg minus kv du. And I can integrate now because of that du right there goes with that, which is my u. So I have it in the form 1 over u du. So what's the integral of that? Piece of cake. The integral of that is ln of u du, ln of mg minus kv. Don't forget your parameters. We are doing this from initial to final. Let's do the initial to final, or final to initial on this one. That's going to be minus kt over m minus a minus kt initial over m. Let's say this problem starts at time zero. That makes this easy. That drops out. Okay. And then on this side, we have to do the same thing. So that becomes mg minus kv quantity minus mg minus kv naught on this side is equal to minus kt over m. Now, there's a rule that if we've got a subtraction sign here, that we can say that this is equal to the natural log of this divided by that. So what does that look like? It becomes ln of mg minus kv over, oh, initial velocity, we dropped it, so that's zero, um, over mg is equal to minus kt over m. We might want to take just a second out here and ask ourselves, what are we doing? What are we trying to do? We're trying to get this formula for the velocity, the instantaneous velocity at any time. We're almost there. We've got to get that v isolated. Now, it's trapped within an ln, a natural log. What's the opposite? If we want to get this out, what's the opposite of a natural log? Well, it's e. So if we take this e to the ln of blah, 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 what's, the, what's e to the x? I'm sorry. What's the e to the ln of x? It's x. So what's e to the ln of mg minus kv over mg, it's mg minus kv over mg minus kv over mg. So we'll do that. That just becomes mg minus kv over mg. And whatever, if we're going to e this side, we're going to take that, and we have to do the same to the other side, e to the minus kt over m. Now it's cleanup time, straightforward algebra. Bring the mg over. So I've got uh, mg minus kv is equal to mg e to the minus kt over m. I'll bring this one over. Actually, I'll add this over here, subtract that over there. So a couple of steps in one here. That becomes uh, kv equals uh, mg minus mg e to the minus kt over m. Divide through by k and factor out an mg over k. So I have uh, mg over k, 1 to the minus e to the minus kt over m. And there's a formula for the velocity at any moment in time for a falling object under laminar flow conditions. I'm going to put an inst for instantaneous. Oh, it's beautiful.